Hello and welcome. In this turbine problem, uh, the inlet conditions are given, inlet pressure, inlet temperature, and the mass flow rate at state one. Uh, also, the exit condition, which we'll call state three for the actual turbine and state two for the isentropic turbine. The exit pressure is given, so 4.5 is shared between state two and three. So this must be 4.5 kPa. Uh, line and this must be a 6 MPA line. I've already drawn the TS diagram. So 1 to 2 is our isentropic turbine and 1 to 3 is our actual turbine. And we are supposed to find the isentropic efficiency uh, as well as uh, the turbine output and the shaft uh, and the ent rate of entropy generation. So you will do a energy and an energy and entropy analysis on this problem. Uh, this is a single, this is a single flow system. It, this kind of systems are open systems are covered in chapter four. And as you can see, the system, the turbine is open, it's steady, and it's a single flow. There's only one exit and one inlet, and we're going to do mass, energy, and entropy analysis. I have already logged in as a student. Uh, we go to the test step page, and obviously uh, we'll follow the open system track a generic open system with a single flow. Uh, so this brings us to this node and steam being a phase change fluid, we select the PC model and launch the app. Okay, H2O is already the working fluid, so we don't, we don't need to do anything here. Uh, so pressure uh, is six MPa, that's the inlet pressure. And the temperature is 500 degrees Celsius is the already the chosen unit here. We'll leave velocity and height to zero. And mass flow rate is given at five kg per second. At the end of the problem, we can come and put a realistic velocity to see how kinetic energy impacts the answer. Now let us calculate state two, the isentropic exit state. Pressure is known and entropy must be equal to S1. And of course, mass flow rate is the same as that of state one. And instead of starting a fresh state for state three, because it's such, it is so similar to state two, we'll spawn it by clicking the plus button. This state three now is identical to state two, except we'll not make it isentropic. Instead, we'll know that the quality, we know that the quality is known and we'll substitute a quality of x equals one uh, in fractional form. Uh, therefore, the exit state is now known. Uh, in the graphics panel, we expect state one, two, three to be exactly as we plotted, uh, anticipated. Um, going to the device panel, we can calculate the isentropic device, state one between, operates between one and two, once we, fix the anchor states, I, uh, it's an adiabatic turbine, so therefore the isentropic work is calculated to be 6.6682. Uh, let's go and now calculate the actual power output. It runs between state one and three, and we can see it is 4.32 megawatt if you want to express in megawatt. So this is our one of our desired answers. Also the entropy generated is shown uh, right here. And if we want to find the isentropic efficiency, we go to the IO panel and it's simply the ratio of, suppose we say what is efficiency, uh, second law efficiency or, okay, eta, let's just call it eta of turbine. How about that? Turbine efficiency equals uh, W dot external, remember two is our, device two is our actual device, and device one is our isentropic device, so this should be the turbine efficiency in fraction, 64.6%. Uh, so here, we, there we have it. We have found the isentropic efficiency on this panel, the actual turbine output, and the entropy generation. Now suppose we would like to know how if we had a realistic inlet and exit velocity, um, 
how will the exit area versus inlet area of the turbine change? How will be the output changing, etc.? Obviously, right now the area is a ridiculously large area because the mass flow rate is given and velocity is set to zero to minimize kinetic energy. So suppose it's given that the inlet velocity is 20 meter per second, a typical turbine inlet velocity. In that case, we can see that if we calculate We find the area, a, a realistic area of the turbine inlet. Similarly, uh, at the exit, if we put an exit velocity of 30 meter per seven, second, you will notice that the exit area will be much higher than the inlet area. That's why we said the steam expands in a, in, a, in a turbine, as you can see, because the specific volume is so much lower at the exit, therefore area at the exit of a turbine must be higher than the area at the inlet. Uh, for the actual exit state, also, we change the new velocity to 30 meter per second. And now that we know the exit areas and all the numbers such as, you know, the, the flow energy has been updated, if, if you can click on the super calculate button and go back to the device panel, uh, all calculations having been updated, look how much is the change in the net output, 4.318. It was almost the same answer before. Uh, so same with entropy generation. So the, the little bit of change of kinetic energy uh, doesn't affect the answer at all. That's why kinetic energy change is routinely neglected in turbine.